Hello, in this presentation, I will discuss fundamental duties. The fundamental duties are defined as the moral obligations of all citizens to help promote a spirit of patriotism and to uphold the unity of India. Fundamental duties have been specified in Article 51A of Part 4A. These duties were adopted in 1976 by the 42nd Amendment of the Constitution. Originally, there were 10 fundamental duties. By the 86th Amendment in 2002, the 11th duty was added. India borrowed the concept of fundamental duties from Russia. These duties concern citizens and the nation and are applicable only to citizens and not to the aliens. Fundamental duties are not enforceable by court. However, they can be enforced by the law, meaning the parliament by making a law has the right to impose any kind of penalty or punishment for violating any of the fundamental duties. Now, I will read out the fundamental duties. To abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and institutions, the national flag and the national anthem. To cherish and follow the noble ideals which inspired our national struggle for freedom. To uphold and protect the sovereignty, unity and integrity of India. To defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so. To promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst the people of India, transcending religious, linguistic, regional or sectional diversities. To renounce practices derogatory to the dignity of women. To value and preserve the rich heritage of our composite culture. To protect and improve the natural environment including forests, lakes, rivers, wildlife and to have compassion for living creatures. To develop the scientific temper, humanism and the spirit of inquiry and reform. To safeguard public property and to abjure violence. To strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher levels of endeavor and achievement. Who is a parent or guardian to provide opportunities for education to his child or as the case may be, ward between the age of 6 to 14 years. To summarize, the fundamental duties obligate all citizens to respect the national symbols of India, including the constitution, to cherish its heritage and assist in its defense. They also obligate all Indians to promote the spirit of common brotherhood protect the environment and public property, develop scientific temper, renounce violence and strive towards excellence in all spheres of life. Fundamental duties serve as a constant reminder to the citizens that while enjoying their rights, they should also be aware of their duties towards their nation and towards other citizens. These serve as a warning to the people against the anti-social activities that disrespect the nation, like burning the flag, destroying the public property or disturbing public peace. These help in the promotion of a sense of discipline and commitment towards the nation. They help in realizing national goals by the active participation of citizens rather than mere spectators. Inclusion of these duties also help the court in determining the constitutionality of the law. Meaning, when any law passed by the legislature is taken to the court for judicial review and the court finds that the law is giving force to any fundamental duty, then such law would be taken as reasonable. Now let us discuss the relationship between rights and duties. Rights and duties always go together. They cannot be separated from one another. For example, if I have the right to life, then it is also my duty not to expose my life to dangers as well as to respect the life of others. Right of one is the duty of others. For every right, there is a corresponding duty. For instance, I have the right to life 
and it is the duty of others to respect my life and not to cause any harm to me rights of a citizen also imply duties for him this means it is my duty to respect the rights of others as well as the duty to use my rights in the interest of society rights are to be used for social good while enjoying rights we must always try to promote social interest since state protects and enforces rights it also becomes the duty of all citizens to be loyal to the state it is our duty to obey the laws of the state and to pay taxes honestly in conclusion we can say that fundamental duties are the essence of a democratic state like india indian democracy can survive only when we citizens actively participate in governance and assume our responsibilities for the best interest of the country these duties are guidelines for a socially aware and morally correct citizen of india and need to be followed by every citizen